Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of coding. Today we are going to do the problem which is called 2 sum 2 input array is sorted. So you are given a number array and you have to find if it equals target or not. Okay, let's try to take an example to understand this. Let me erase all this. So let's say you are given 2, 7, 11, 15 as your array and your target is 9. Right? So you have to solve this problem. You have to find two numbers which are going to sum up to 9. There's always a solution possible. Now, we have to list down all the pairs that can be done in O of n square time complexity, right? To list down all the pairs. So, one by one, you will list down all the pairs that are possible, right? So, all the pairs that are possible, if you list it, it will take O of n square time complexity. And then you can find out if the pair sums up to a target or not. But you have to do it in O of n time complexity. So, then you will have to think of some better solution to solve this problem, right? So, uh, let's try to think of a better solution to solve it in O of n time complexity. So, for that, we can simply uh, do a simple thing. We can take a data structure, let's say map, and we can start storing elements in that, okay? Let's say I iterate over the first element. I store 2 in the map, right? And I say that it belongs to the first index. In this question, index starts from 1, okay? So, I say 2 belongs to first index. Now, I go to the next element. When I'm iterating over this, I check that my next element is 7. Now, my target is 9. So, target is 9 and the element that I am currently iterating over is 7. So, 9 minus 7 is 2. So, I will check if 2 is present in the map or not. Now, in my example, 2 is present in the map. Already, I have seen a 2 and my current element is 7. That means I have found my two elements and I can just return uh, the indices as the answer. So, I can store indices in the map. Okay. So, that's it. This is a simple logic to solve in O of n time. But it will also take O of n space. So, this is the problem. Now, we want to solve it in O of n time and O of 1 space complexity. So, how are we going to solve it in this? So, that is the crux of the question. Okay. So, now they have given us a hint. Okay. They have given us that it is sorted. So, now we can solve it in O of uh, n time and O of 1 space because it is sorted. So, let us see that. Let's say the elements are 2, 7, 11, 15. Okay. Let us see it with the help of an example. How are we going to solve it? Okay. Let's say our target is equal to 9. Now, we know it is sorted. That means, okay. Okay, let's say we fix one element at a time. So, let's say I fix my first element I at i equal to 0. So, my first element is fixed and that is 2. Okay, now I can shift my second element. Now, maximum value of the second element that I can have is the last position. Okay, so let's start from this. So, currently the current sum is 2 plus 15 which is equal to 17. Okay, but I want a target sum of 9. Now, 17 is greater than 9. So, what I will do? I need a sum which has to be smaller. So, I have to decrement my sum. So, I will shift my J pointer and I will bring my J pointer here. So, now next time the sum becomes 2 plus 11. 2 plus 11 is 13. 13 is still greater than 9, right? So, I still want to decrement my sum. So, I will again shift my J pointer. Now, J becomes equal to 1. So, in this case, I get 2 plus 7 equal to 9 and I have got the exact sum, okay? Let me take one more example in this same uh, case. So, I have 2, 7, 11, 15. So now I want to find out, okay, what is my target? My target is, let's say I change my target. Let's say my target is 22, okay. So I again start from the very first logic. I is equal to 0, J is equal to 3. What is my current sum? 2 plus 15, current sum is 17. Now my target is bigger. I want to increase my sum this time. So if I want to increase my sum, notice one thing. Currently, with first element as fixed, you have got maximum sum. You can never get a sum better than this because if you shift your j pointer in this case, you will only get a sum lesser, okay? Because it is sorted in increasing order, right? So, the maximum possible sum currently is within with the maximum end value by keeping the first element fixed. So, if you want to increase your sum, the only way is you change your i pointer. So, this time we will change our i pointer. So, now we are at 7 as our first element and then second element is 15. So 7 plus 15 is equal to 20. We have got the exact target. Okay. Now let's see one more quick example. So we have 2, 7, 11, 15. Okay. Let us say our target is equal to uh, 18. So how are we going to solve this problem? We start with i equal to 0, j equal to 3. So what is our current sum? Current sum is 2 plus 15 which is equal to 17. So now our sum is less than target. So the only way to increase is increase your i pointer. Okay. So what is my i pointer? i is equal to 1. So now sum is equal to 7 plus 15. 
okay sum is the sum of elements at i and j so now sum is 22 but my target is 18 so in this case what i will do the only way now i can get a lower sum okay is by increasing uh, sorry is by decreasing my j pointer right so i shift my j pointer and i decrease it so j becomes equal to 2 so in this case what is the sum sum is 7 plus 11 which is equal to 18 okay so this is a very simple logic now just for simplicity sake i will take just one last example and then we have built enough examples i guess we will also start coding okay so let's say my target is in this case um 26 okay so we will quickly start i equal to 0 j equal to 3 now we will also try to build the code along so what is our current sum so we have one variable sum sum is the sum of values at i and j indexes so sum is 2 plus 15 which is 17 now i want to increment my sum okay so i will check this is the simple code if my sum is less than target right if my sum is less than target how can i increase my sum i will have to increase i pointer okay i will increase i pointer so now my i pointer comes here so what is the sum now sum is equal to 7 plus 15 right so that is 22 now my target is still 26 i still have to achieve my target by increasing the sum so again i increase my i pointer so in this case i comes here so now in this case sum is equal to 26 and i have got my answer okay so if sum is less than target i plus plus else if sum is greater than target we can just give the condition if sum is let's say greater than target then in that case you can decrement the j pointer and if it is equal to target you can just return the indices that's it that is a simple logic now let's quickly code it we have understood so for int i equal to 0 let me zoom out so that you can see clearly i mean zoom in okay so for i equal to 0 i less than numbers dot size i plus plus okay we don't have to do this okay because we have two pointers i and j so you can take i equal to 0 and j equal to the last element of the numbers okay minus one because it starts from the last index so we have two pointers i and j one starts at zero and the other one starts at this okay so now we will give the condition while i less than j we can keep on running by the way we will always find the answer it is given in this question so whenever we exit before we exit, we'll actually return the answer. So when are we going to uh, return the answer? So the logic is very simple. If numbers of i plus numbers of j is equal equal to target, we have reached our answer. We can just return. What are we going to return? We have to return the indices. Now in this, it starts from the first position. So the index is not actually 0. For the first position, they consider the index as 1. So, all the indices are shifted by 1. So, we can return i plus 1, j plus 1. Okay. Otherwise, if let's say numbers of i plus numbers of j, if that is less than target, right, then what we can do? We can just increase our i pointer, else we can decrement our j pointer. That is a simple logic. And finally, this condition will not happen because we have always found our answer but nevertheless we have to return some vector because it's given in the function so because of that i am just writing return an empty vector but this is a simple three line code now we can submit this problem and we can check that it is working or not so it's working thank you for being patient and listening